Have you been to the Isle of Butte, mate? Daza. I have worked on the Isle of Butte. And I drove in, you'll not believe this, the last Marquis of uh, Butte was Johnny Dumfries, the racing driver, the Earl of Dumfries, prior to becoming the Marquis. And I believe Johnny's no longer with us, sadly. But Johnny's father, John Butte, was a wonderful guy. And he ran the National Trust for Scotland. And I can remember working in the television station and John Butte came in and he said to the receptionist, I'm here for the evening program. And she said, what's your name? And he said, John Butte. So she lifted the phone and she said to the director, that's Mr. Butte in reception for you. He would have loved that. Absolutely adored it. He was a great funster. And um, believe it or not, I drove into Mount Stewart Estate at something like five o'clock in the evening, just as John Butte was passing away in London. Uh, just as John Butte passed away. Isn't that interesting? I mean, Crazy, crazy coincidence. And, uh, of course, I've worked in Rothsey. And I can remember when I worked on the boats. Do you remember the wee boat, the Maid of Butte? Used to come out uh, with Mr Knox's boat, the Maid of Butte. Lovely. She was bright yellow. And during the Seaman strike in 1969, the Alexander brothers and Johnny Beatty were doing a show in Rothsey. And there was no way of them getting off the island. So the boat, the ferry master I worked for, sent us down on the boat and we picked them up. And that's a start of me developing my love for show business. We had such famous people on the boat as the Alexander Brothers and Johnny Beatty. <laughs> also, there were great performers called Grace Clark and Colin Murray. Clark and Murray were great entertainers at uh, Rothsey. It would be the Winter Gardens 